Sharnese exhibited inconsistent errors, omission errors, groping and silent posturing, and difficulties with sequencing, speech sounds, and syllables. The verbal motor production assessment for children will be used to provide normative information regarding speech, oral motor control, and sequencing abilities. The listed sounds were targeted because they were omitted in the assessment and developmentally appropriate sounds. Baseline data should be collected through a speech language sample that is video recorded to examine prosody and vowel consonant combinations. In the touch cue method, the sequencing of speech sounds is reinforced by giving touch cues on the child's face and neck. In phase one, the clinician will introduce the touch cues for each targeted sound in isolation. Next, the clinician will target phonemes in CV nonsense syllables. Lastly, the phonemes will be targeted in CV, CV nonsense syllables with the same consonant. So we're going to play a game, okay? Um, you're going to pick a card, and whatever color you pick, you have to flip over the same color on the game board. Under the flap will be our secret letter that we will practice. Okay, so pick a card with a color. So our first letter is T. Let's try that again. Okay, now let's pick a different card. Second letter is Ooh. Can you try that one for me? Ooh. Good. Ooh. Good job. Now pick another color. Good try. Let's try that one again. Po. Po. Good job. Po. 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 Great job, Sherry. P. Po. Po. Co. Co. Good try. Try that one again. Pa, 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 pa. Amazing, Shanice. Pa, 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 pa. Okay. In phase two, the clinician will target phoneme productions in CV, CV, nonsense syllables with different consonants, CV, CV, nonsense syllables with different consonants and vowels, and productions of meaningful bisyllabic words. This time, Shanice, I want you to pick two cards with two different colors, okay? Okay. P and M. Okay. Look at Pa Ma. Pa Ma. Good try. Let's try that one more time. Pa Ma. Pa Ma. Good job. Charnice, so we're just going to pick two more cards with two different colors. P and M. Okay. Pa, me. Ta, me. Try that one more time. Pa, me. Pa, me. Good job. Pa, me. Pa, me. Okay, but this time, Charnice, we're going to practice our words, okay? Okay. Pa, be. T, 
Puppy. Good child. Let's try it again. Puppy. Puppy. Good job. Puppy. Puppy. Good. Now we're going to try baby. May me. Uh oh. Let's try it again. Baby. Baby. Good job, Shani. Baby. Baby. The clinician will record sessions and collect data after sessions to be sure not to interrupt touch cues during therapy sessions. Verbal feedback and reinforcement will be provided on a one-to-one -one ratio. For each incorrect response, the clinician will provide verbal and touch cues of the appropriate sound on a one-to-one -one verbal reinforced schedule. Some advantages to TCM are that it works when traditional therapy doesn't, the cues can be used on any structure level, and multi-sensory input appears to be helpful to children with CAS. Disadvantages to this method are the SLP must be certified and trained on using TCM. This method isn't successful with all children with CAS, and more research should be conducted on the outcomes of this therapy method.